Hey, Matt Russell with Team Design with another tutorial in Photoshop. This tutorial is all about non-destructive layer editing. That's a huge long sentence that probably doesn't make any sense. But I constantly see people open up Photoshop and go to the erase button to start deleting stuff away. Don't do that, all right? Bad habit. There's nothing worse than trying to undo something you did 500 steps ago, okay? What I wanna show you today is how to delete something, but always be able to go back and undelete it, okay? It's just called using a layer mask. I have an image here, uh, it's a wonderful, uh, rocky image with a bunch of depth of field, and I wanna insert text so that it slides behind this line. Uh, so there's kind of a depth of field break, and what I like to do is whenever I insert text into an image, I always look, how can I do something naturally? How can I put this in so it looks like it belongs to the image? Uh, so let's go ahead and open up text. Um, I'm just gonna type in, um, let's just do beach. Uh, if you ever type something in, you can't find it, and it, it might just be on the wrong layer order. Just go ahead and drag it up. Uh, white looks kinda off, that looks weird. Let's change it to black. That looks awful. <laughs> Uh, some, uh, a quick pro tip, something I like to do is in the color picker option when you're on text, so see how it's right here, click that, you get an eyedropper and I like to sample around till I find something that kind of looks like it belongs. That looks great. That, that hint of blue, see how it just meshes in so much better than that? Uh, have you ever seen someone do a flyer and it's like, I want to make it stand out? Don't do that. Please, that looks atrocious. Pick something that, maybe a color that belongs in the image that comes from the image. That looks great. So let's go ahead and uh, I just want to move this down so it looks like it's gonna break into that depth of field. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Boom. Okay. First thing with layer mask, I just want to zoom in. I always like to get in close, see what I'm doing. Uh, Using layer mask, it's just this button down here. Click it, you're gonna see an attachment onto the file. Again, you can use this with an image, you can use it with text, you can use it with uh, a smart object, a 3D object, you can use it with everything. Uh, and the best way to understand this is you're just painting over the top, uh, painting black or white. That's, that's your option, Those are that's it, black or white. Black deletes it away and white adds it back. So no matter how many times you delete it, you can always get it back. So go on the brush tool. Um, the number one button that you're gonna press over and over is X. All it does is cycle back and forth between black and right, white. So press the X button. Let's go ahead and delete some of this. Press it again, add this back. And all I wanna do, use the brackets to grow this, is just get rid of anything that's below that natural line. And so I'm just kind of playing it by ear right now. Uh, so it looks like, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more. Um, go ahead and make this. I'm just coloring around the edges. So see how it goes right there? Color that into the edge. Get rid of this stuff down, whoops, X again. Get rid of this stuff down here. Delete this out. I could've just made the bracket bigger. Hold down space to move over. Delete this out. Let's get a little closer to the edge. Open up the bracket again. Oops. And that's pretty much the technique. That's it. You just use the X button, delete some of it, add it back. Let's go ahead and add this. Uh, I don't know if I like that, but we'll leave it for now. We'll zoom out and see what it looks like in a second. Uh, here we go. Add this back, cut this away, cut a little bit of that away. Boom. Add that in, cut that. See, it's already starting to take shape a little bit. Let's delete a whole bunch of that. Boom. Add Press the X, but all I'm doing is pressing the X and painting. Oops, wrong way. Got a little happy on pressing the X too much. Okay, make it a little bigger. Cut that away. 
Cut too much. Cut too much. And it back. Let's cut this. That's really all this is. I'm just going to leave the camera on so you can see exactly. There's no smoke and mirrors. It's just pressing the X button and painting away what you don't want. Look at that. Look how good that, that looks like it's on a brochure to Santa Barbara, Santa Monica, something like it looks like a beach community. Uh, last, last tip I want to leave you with is let's say, oh, I wish I had that up just a little bit. Well, check this out. You can unclick this link right here, click on the text, and you can move it up and down to the barrier you just cut away. Um, obviously, we didn't cut all the way down here, so that's showing up. So you will have to touch up a couple areas, but it's not too bad. Just cut away that, cut away the extras, and you're good. I'm sure I'm going to miss a couple things down here, but it's just a quick tip. And there you have it. Here's my final image before and after. Well, that's Matt Russell with Photoshop tools from Team Design. I hope you learned something new today with non-destructive layer editing. Get rid of your erase button. Don't use it anymore. <laughs> I'll see you later.